I've been putting this job off for way too long, and if I'm doing it, then probably a handful of you are as well. I know I keep a pretty good looking yard, but look at my fence line, right up against the chain link fence. It really doesn't look very good. Now, I know how to keep a clean fence line, and I do it from time to time, but this year I've just been really lazy about it. So today I'm gonna clean it up, I'm gonna make it look its best, and quite honestly, just doing this work is going to make the yard look so much better. Let me show you how I get it done. All right, now the whole job starts with a string trimmer. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but I string trim almost all the time on the inside of my fence. The problem is the outside of my fence. I'm on a retaining wall, so going out there is really hard. Plus the retaining wall are these boulders, so it's much harder to string trim out here. The job out here is different than it is over there. I'm gonna start over there where it's easy because most people just have a simple chain link fence right up against the grass. To start, whatever string trimmer you have, I use battery equipment all the time in my yard. Look at your string trimmer and turn it on a little bit so that you can tell which direction the string is turning. My string is turning counterclockwise. That means that when I go to trim, it is going to cut better going counterclockwise if I move in this direction. So let me come up here to the fence line that I'm gonna be dealing with for the purpose of this video. So as we turn it on, we're gonna move in that direction. And we're gonna keep the trimmer head so that the string is right up to the fence line, but not all the way there. Now when you do that, you're basically able to cut all of the grass that's on this side of the fence very easily because the string is not actually getting to the fence itself. And I'm gonna go to the other side and that's the, that's the problem spot for me is going to the other side of the fence on this hillside. Not everyone has a hillside, but still it's always hard for some people to go to the other side of the fence. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna cut down all of the grass right up to the fence, but not actually get to the fence with our string. All right, because my string trimmer head is turning counterclockwise, I want the string, every time it goes around, to go into this and then into this and then into this as it smacks around in a circle. So once we clear out all of the main gunk on the, on the outside part of the fence, then we're gonna start going the opposite direction. So as it spins, now we're gonna start going the opposite direction, the way that it doesn't cut the best. So it cuts the best as we move this way, but because we're going into the fence, every time it spins around, we want it to go into the fence and cut all of this stuff. If we go the wrong direction from the start, then it just makes it really hard to go through all of the thick layer of, of grass that's out here and get into the fence. So we clear that out first, and then we go the opposite direction. You can go full speed. If you go full speed, then you're gonna go through a lot of line. Or you can be gentle with your trigger and go slower at a slower speed and you're gonna go through a lot less string. And because it's hitting this and these grass blades are up against the fence line, they're still going to cut even at a slower speed. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that along all of my flat fence line, but I gotta do something completely different for against my rock wall. That's gonna be kind of my thing because almost nobody has a rock wall like that. I'm actually gonna to have to pull papers out of the ground and kind of cut down there with some special tools. I'll show you the end result, but I think that's gonna help out the most of the majority of people who are trying to keep things a little bit tidier around the bottom of their chain link fences.
that's it for today's video on basic yard maintenance take a look at this video up in the corner watch it it's all about overseeding your yard no matter what grass type you have it will benefit from overseeding in the spring or the fall depending on if you're putting down pre-emergence take a look